coming back. For you guys, another Horizon 3, Horizon 3, Horizon 2 video, and today we're gonna be turning this BMW M3 into a. We're gonna be drag building it. So I'm gonna go run up to the Cisteron hub, and uh, I'll talk to you guys if I get there. Uh, we're gonna pretty much customize it. Uh, upgrade it. Uh, I'm not gonna tune it there. I'm gonna wait till I get to the airstrip and I'll tune it on site with you guys. So let's go upgrade this thing. Okay, Let so me know we're what you here. Need. Get ready to customize it. Let's do not engine swap. I want to keep the stock engine on in it. We'll go big single turbo. Let's see, do we have anything for aero? Oh, wow, that's surprising. We'll go R compound. We're gonna leave the front with stock and go 275s on the rear. What do we got for rims? Hmm. We'll go with these. They're light. They're going 31 pounds. Clutch. Gotta go race clutch. Tranny, same thing. Gotta go with that race diff. I'm gonna try and push. Um, I don't know. I'd like to push 800 horsepower, but I doubt it'll be possible out of the stock uh, engine. We'll see though. We'll try it. I'm not gonna. Put any like specific power ranges. I mean, if I can get 800, that'd be nice. Make for a sick car, but I'll be okay with less than that. Go weight reduction. It's going to be light. I think the plan is to pretty much just max out this completely. Try and squeeze out every single horsepower we can. Honest, 20 horsepower out of that, not too bad. Cams, we should be okay pushing right around 700. That's what I'm gonna estimate us after the turbos, which is the last big power upgrade we can do. Turbo is just 101 horsepower, sitting at just over 700 horsepower. Pretty good. Um, pretty close to what I wanted to try and get out of it. Not gonna complain. Gonna make for a rocket ship of a car. Cause it's fairly light too. At just over 2,700 pounds, we get 700 horsepower. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the airstrip, and then we will work on tuning this. Okay, just made it to the airport. Uh, drive over here, the car felt good. Gearing feels really, really good. Um, as far as like, length um, of them, we'll see though. I'm not really gonna count that as like, I'm not gonna make any changes. I'm gonna see how it goes. We're gonna do one from a dig and then one uh, from like a 45 roll. So let's see what we can do from a dig. A little bit of wheel spin, pretty controllable though. Nothing too crazy. Red lines at about 8,500. And we hit it at. 212. So I'm gonna head back down and we're gonna do a roll for the next one. And then we'll probably throw a simple tune on it. Okay. So I expect this to hook no problem. 
because it's a roll with a big meaty tire in the back. So I'm not expecting any issues as far as that would go. Um, just want to see how the car kind of handles um, as far as 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 far as suspension goes. Got a little bit of tire spin um, in second, but not too bad. I was expecting a little bit more actually. Add a bit. Probably gonna trap a little bit lower given the turn. About 12 miles an hour. Not too bad. So I think. Let's see what we can do as far as a tune. Tune. Let's take the tire pressure down to 20 all around. Gearing, I don't want to touch. Take away the camber. No, I don't want to touch the front casters. And anyway. we'll leave that the same. Let's stiffen up the rear. It's about 26. And then we'll also stiffen up the springs. We'll go ahead and lower it all the way. Rebound, I want to take up. Take that to about 10. That there. Take this to about 7.5. Take that to about 7. Pretty much what I want to do for right now. And I'm going to go and do those tests again. I'm going to do another uh, dig and we'll do a roll. Okay, so I'm going to do a dig again. So I think I'm going to launch it from 5 grand. This is where I launched it last time. A little bit more wheel spin, but it felt like we were kind of, I don't know, still not as much as I was expecting. It's very controllable. Uh, the car seems to stick very well, even during the wheel spin. We ended up trapping, I think, pretty much the same time. But the car feels like it's a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to go back and then for the final test before I end off this video, we'll do a 45 roll again to test the tune in a roll race situation. So I really didn't expect much to change as far as the trap speed went. Because the tune really, I didn't do anything with the tune to really affect how much power was in the car like how the gears or how the power would affect the car as much as I did some suspension stuff to try and help the car feel a little bit more stable under speed and it got less wheel spin off the launch in second gear than we did last time we ended up traveling right about the same they were running like a mile an hour faster or something like that but I think this is where I'm going to end off the video. If I had Xbox Live, which unfortunately I don't, I would go online and try and run this against some other people, but I don't. So we're just working with what we have. But when Horizon 3 comes out in the next, like, three weeks, I'll be doing drift builds, for sure drag builds, because I have some friends that are getting it that I can drag with. Um, yeah, so Horizon 3 is for sure going to come out. Really, really excited. Just wanted to play Forza, to get back in that Forza mood. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, comment down below with any other cards you guys want me to do, whether it be a drag build, a drift build, a normal touring build, whichever. Just let me know, and I will do it. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.